much improved, obviously. Uh, the Yankees, I don't know what's going to happen with uh, Chase Headley, but they might not be in a very good situation. I know that, that they got D.D. Gregorius, who's really good defensively. Um, He'll probably bat 250, 260 yeah. for him this upcoming season. I, I don't know what's going to happen with Chase Headley. Where do you think he ends up? It's got to be between the the Giants and the Yankees. I don't know who else has like a desperate third base need. Right. Because like, you know, the, well, the White Sox, but I don't know if the White Sox are going to order. Well, see, that's the thing. Like a, one desperate enough that they'd go and shell out a ton of money to a guy like Chase Headley. Right. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. It's it's going to be interesting to see. But I think, um, you, you know, I think the Red Sox, you know, are are definitely going to be um, a pretty good team next year. It looks like, um, you know, Tampa Bay is going to be at the bottom of that the division. You you could say uh, the Baltimore didn't necessarily improve. Uh, they got the quite got a, a bit worse, worse yeah. losing Nick Marquez and Nelson Cruz. That's two of your three starting outfielders, and they haven't replaced either of them. And they don't really right. have like position players. And I feel like those young guys that did good for like a year. I don't know how good they're going to be. You know, like Steve Pierce and you know a couple other guys. I don't know how good they're going to be. Right, and throw in the fact they also lost Andrew Miller, who was a big key in the bullpen last year at the trade deadline. Right, and then who's the other team in that division? That are, oh, uh, Toronto. That that's the team that that right now to me looks like the best team. Either of them are Boston in that division. Right, yeah. Toronto improved dramatically. They added some pitching depth when they traded for Marco Estrada. They got a third baseman in Josh Donaldson, and then throw in the fact that they uh, they acquired Michael Saunders to be right. a new outfielder, which. Maybe he's an answer in the outfield because they've been lacking some outfield options. Uh, I I don't believe they've added any other starting pitchers, even though they probably could use one. Right. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much how the AL East looks. the The AL Central, you know, uh, I I think the depending on what Kansas City does, I think the White Sox could be in second place in that the division. I don't think Kansas Kansas City can't bring back big game James, and if they can't afford to bring him back, there's no way they can get Scherzer. Right. So, you know, I think Detroit will probably be in there again. Uh, the Indians are, you know, average, and uh, the Twins didn't really get any better. So, yeah. Well, I mean, they, the Twins got a little bit better. They got Urban Santana and I, then I, I Torrey think, Hunter. Right. I still think they finished la- in last place. Oh, I think they do, that. too, except then they still got a couple young prospects like Miguel Sano coming up from the minor so that in Alex Meyer so they they might be a little bit they might they will be improved however n- not one to make a jump from last place in the division right so yeah I think you know pr- pretty much in that division it goes Detroit I-, I would put probably Chicago second at this point uh possibly third Cleveland Kansas City and then Minnesota but you never know what could happen in that division because that's a really tough division to project right now uh, right, because usually when you think the Sox are going to be good, they're bad, and when you think they'll be bad, they're good. Right, and uh, now the last division is the AL West, and that uh, that's definitely going to be very interesting. Um, you know, with teams like Texas who can't be nearly as bad as they were last year. Well, they can't nearly have as many injuries. Yeah, you know, you're going to have Prince Fielder. Uh, you're going to have still Adrian Beltre. You have a couple good. Uh, Chu will be back. Chewy Mitch Marlin will be healthy. Yeah. You Darvish will be back. The, the offense isn't the issue. It's after you Darvish where right. it's it a little interesting. They'll have Matt Harrison, Derek Collins, another great pitcher. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, hit by the injury bug bad last year. And then they year, just so. traded for uh, Ross Detweiler. Yeah, he's all right. Uh, you know, you got some pretty good options there and uh i mean houston you know i i'm telling you it could be a race between houston and oakland to see who finishes in last in that division right yeah i mean and now billy beans almost turned into an into a villain in oakland <laughs> trading josh donaldson trading brandon moss trading jeff samarja yeah i that's, mean uh that's gonna be real interesting to see what happens with that but I, then i think and then you gotta assume scott casmir will be dealt at some point next season because he's on an expiring contract Yeah, you, you'll just have uh sunny gray that's about it <laughs> going on over there and a bunch of young guys and then he signed billy butler to a three-year 30 million dollar deal Ike Davis is uh, the new uh, Brandon Moss. They just except, pretty much, yeah. Even though Ike Davis isn't that good, no, he he's not. He has a horrible batting average. I think you know, can't hit left-handed pitching, and he's moving into a hitter's uh, stadium. <laughs> uh, it's it's pretty much uh, um, the Angels and Mariners are going to be the front runners in that division. 
it, it looks like to me. Um, right, and the yeah. Mariners are not done adding. They want to add another outfielder like Melky Cabrera or Diane Viciedo. It'd be interesting if Viciedo got there and what the Sox could get back in return for Viciedo. They're looking for a bullpen help. arm. Yeah, I, I, as they should be. So, yeah, it, it's going to be uh, really odd to see uh, what happens next before April 1st. But, yeah, the winter meetings are over. And now we're pretty much, you know, it was a little bit of a baseball fever these this last half week. But now it's back to hockey and basketball. Right, and the Blackhawks are beating the Bruins 3 nothing. They are. And uh, the Bulls are, uh, well, they had a bad game against Golden State. But, I mean, Golden State's a great team, you know. Yeah, they Golden State. Yeah, they are really good. Still they can only shoot have the two ball. losses. Two losses. But they're like eighteen and two. Yeah. How was the game? Uh, the game itself was pretty fun. Derrick Rose was very frustrating. Everyone, at least around me, was very upset with Derrick Rose. You know, everyone's screaming, "Drive to the hole!" Seriously, he should have drove to the hoop. Because then he, he didn't had, drive to the hoop once. Didn't he, he had nine points all in the first half? Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't he score zero points in the second half? And no points in the second half. He kept shooting these stupid jumpers that weren't even close. Uh, Taj Gibson was keeping us in the game. Uh, Jimmy Butler was keeping us in the game, as always. Noah had a pretty good game. Um, I was just glad that everyone was healthy except for Doug McDermott. Who but, doesn't play. Yeah, who uh, – I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's going on with him. He had something with his thumb, possibly, but I, I'm i not quite sure what's going on with him. But, I mean, there's really no reason to rush him back. The Bulls are doing pretty good. The problem is the Cavaliers are doing very good now. Um, so, you know, I, I don't I don't know if the Bulls the, – the Bulls are still probably, in my opinion, they'll still probably be a top three seed in the East, but uh, you never know. It, it, it depends like how Derrick the... Rose can do these uh, – going down the stretch to me it feels like the record's better than 13 and 8 yeah yeah it is kind of strange that they are only 13 and 8 um but they but in those 13 wins they've looked very very good and then those eight losses sometimes they've looked really really bad uh Mm, yeah but but, but they'll still be pretty good and they'll they'll go deep into the playoffs which is what you can ask for as a fan right anyways this has been the Sports Renegades on SportstownChicago.com. Thank you for listening. I'm Ryan Risky. I'm Ryan Stupperich. Thank you for listening and have a great night. We'll be back on next Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m.